This is Mary Ann from Waterlink Web, and this is a training video for uh, Waterlink Web clients and how to add a post to their uh, WordPress websites. So, quick training video, enjoy this. Uh, first of all, when you log into the dashboard of your website, it's going to look something like this with the uh, posts page right here and pages and all the themes and so forth and it may look a little different depending on your plugins but it looks something like that. The first thing you want to do when you're adding a post is to have some things planned out and to figure out um, your images that you're going to include in your post and so the first thing you'll do is you go to your media library and you'll go to add new. In this case I'm just going to show you some that were already added. For this client um, the proper width of the images to be added are about 400 pixels. So this is 400 pixels across. Notice that he has put in a caption and he has also put in an alt text on this image. And the other uh, width is for a, an image that is landscape. And in that case, it would be about 800 pixels across. The reason you size these smaller is because you um, want them to come up fast on regardless of uh, what what media they're using if it's a cell phone if it's a uh, uh, laptop etc again captions been added alternative text has been added to add an image you just would go to the add new and uh, bring it in off your laptop and then edit it to add those things okay well, let's say the images are added now so you go to posts you go to posts add new Give it a moment here. Okay, so first you want to add the title. So this is a sample title. Ah, okay. And then you scroll right down, and here is your first block. And always put text in the first block. Well, not necessarily always, but it's uh, good to do that. And text slash content helps us uh, helps us helps the website get found on by search engines okay so you always want to make sure that there's good text and content in your website let's say you want to add an image now after your introductory text you have the plus sign Hit this plus sign, it'll give you all sorts of options for blocks to add. And in this case, we're just going to add one image. And it's already in the media library. And we're going to add uh, this one here. I just pick the image and then I hit select. And this already has a uh, caption with it that came with it automatically. And it already has that, that was put in when the uh, when the client uploaded the image and um, the alt text is already in there because that was put in when the client uploaded the image. So now I am going to have a header say. So I go again to the plus and look here's a heading. And I won't make this H, this will be a H2 heading that says uh, building skate parks. Okay, because that well, this client does that. Uh, with wood. And then we're going to have another text that is going to be a paragraph. And this will be uh, all about all about this. Whatever. So you've scrolled down. You've got quite a bit of information in here now. You'll add a lot more uh, text. Let's say you want to add a gallery. So you go here to your plus. Again, look at all the different things you've got here. And here's a gallery. There's lots of more blocks you can do, but we're just doing the simple ones. A gallery and go to the media library and this time we'll select uh, three and I'll go down here to the far right, create a new gallery and I can reorder them if I want to. I can do like that. Already have their um, captions in and their alt text. I hit to the far right and hit insert gallery and there it is. And then let's say the next thing I want to do 
is put in a call to action that has been saved. So sometimes we go ahead and save reusable blocks. And in this case, I have for this client. So get in touch with Ben for a free quote. This has a link in it that goes exactly to his um, contact form. So again, you could do all sorts of things with blocks. And if I work with you as a client, then you know um, we have reusable blocks in your in your uh, block editor. So that would be like the end of this. Now the next step, never to be forgotten, is to create a focus or key phrase. And in this case, it's gonna be wood skate parks. Or skate, yeah. This probably isn't gonna be the Preface, I'm going to reduce this. But anyway, they'll have a lot more content. And then you'd put in your introductory paragraph about how, click Edit Snippet, uh, Woods Great Parks are great. <laughs> okay, and then there'll be, you, you write until this line turns green. And if you write too much, it'll turn red. So then you Reduce how much you write. This is a meta description that is actually shown up in search engine results. And this is a key phrase that helps uh, uh, the uh, search engines find this. This is called the Yoast SEO plugin. It's on pretty much every website I build. And the best idea is if you can get this to turn green, then that's really good. And then um, that shows that you have a good uh, SEO on this page. So that's it. After that, you can always hit preview and you can hit publish, but I think we've done our demo. You've got what you need for now. Have a great day. And thank you for watching uh, Waterlink Web Videos with Marianne Ashenbrenner. Bye-bye.